All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing leaves and we're gonna be focusing on the veins of the line. So let's get going. All right, I do have an example of this project right up here. I glued it to my sketchbook actually. So if I just scooch this paper down, you guys can see it. So hopefully uh, maybe Mr. Mill can edit this a little bit closer. But as you can see, the leaves are overlapping. We can also see through them kind of. So basically um, leaves are kind of transparent and you guys can see them. You can see the, uh, the veins in them. And what I want to do for this project is I want overlapping leaves. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of uh, knowledge and it's going to take a little bit of um, try memorization, I guess, and try to make sure that your eyes aren't getting confused. So you want to make sure you have a couple colors. So what you need is a piece of paper, hold it horizontally or vertically, doesn't matter to me, and some markers. Markers will be, be your best option or your best bet for this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I would do, and then you guys can go from there. So what I would do is I would do it in pencil, but uh, since I want to be making sure that you guys can see it on video, I'm going to do it directly in marker, so wish me luck. So I have a border right here. I will trace it so you guys can see my boundaries here. So my boundaries are as so. I got a line right here. I did it with a ruler, and I got to get a new Sharpie. Um, I apologize. So let me just draw this right here. There's another one right here. And then finally, let's just close it off on this end right there. All right, once you have your border, um, and I highly suggest you have a border for this project in particular, is because we're gonna go out of bounds a lot. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do my first leaf. So my first leaf, I'm gonna try to copy it, but not copy it too much. I'm gonna do the outline, so there's the stem. And then the leaf kind of goes out. And it has a point right here, so it's gonna point right there. And then it's gonna kind of go down, a little rigid, like that. So this is gonna be a silhouette of a leaf there you go so we got the first leaf done leave it alone okay all right next one the next one you can do the same color or do a different color you can pick whatever you want i'm gonna do same color but different um direction so here's the stem and i'm gonna go out like this so i have to go like that and i like to find the point first so here's my point kind of go out go up there you go down all right perfect next leaf let's do a different color this time why don't I go from this direction here go here here's my stem now this will be a little harder to see here's the outside um, let's do one that's kind of like branching off so here is one of the sides and then if this is where it gets confusing, it's gonna overlap. So you wanna make sure it draws over because it is gonna be see-through in this uh, version of this project. And then I'm gonna go up. And then hopefully make sure it looks nice. There you go. I like that. All right, maybe I'll do an end of a leaf right here. There we go. There. Let's do another color. Did I do this color already? I don't know. I definitely didn't do brown though. Why don't I add this brown somewhere over here maybe? That'd be neat. All right, let's kind of create my own type of leaf pattern right there. The point's gonna be right here. Let's try to hover around that area. Okay, that's a little more doesn't look more like a leaf but I'll keep it the way it is all right I'll just do another leaf right here okay there's the end of the leaf and did I do this color already I'm not quite sure I don't think I did this one is this matching it all right this is a different color right here so I'll do this one where should I put this one I should put this one over here maybe oh this is nice and bright and vibrant <laughs> okay Points up, goes down, then out, comes back, and down. There we are. It's a cool leaf. I guess I can put one on another spot. Do I have a room for another one? I'll do one right over here, I guess. Okay. 
There we are. Okay. Now you have all the leaf tracings that are kind of all overlapping each other. This is where you're gonna have to focus your brain um, where everything is. So what you're gonna do is pick a leaf, anything you want. So if I would have choose this brown one, I'm gonna take my brown and I'm gonna start drawing the inside going from the stem to the tip of the leaf. And then what you do, very simple, is just kind of create lines going away from that stem and going outward. So we're not gonna do doing a pattern um, if you want to do a pattern, you can, but it might be a little too difficult to understand later. So I'm going to keep it as simple as possible just by doing stripes starting from the stems of these leaves. Okay. All right. Once you're done, you're going to pick another leaf and find its different color. So this one is, I think, this color, I believe. Is it? I can't tell which colors I used when it comes to the oranges. All right, it's this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna go like this, go to the end of it. Notice how it's intersecting with the brown, and same thing. I'm gonna do regular stripes, stemming from the leaf, or stemming from the stem itself. There we go. Go this direction. And like I said, it's gonna be a little technical because you're gonna have to figure out which lines you need so unlike Mr. Mill, maybe a better idea would be to do colors that are very opposite from each other so you don't get confused. All right, since I had this marker out and I don't want to lose it, let's do this other one right here. All right. Start curving up towards the spike of it. There you go. One side almost done, and let's do the other side. All right, and as you can see, it's uh, intersecting with the darker orange one. All right, let's do a yellow one. So let me put this marker away because I'm not going to need it anymore. That way I don't get confused anymore. Let's do a yellow one. All right, for this yellow one, start from the tip and work our way down. There we go. So this one's a little bit easier because I don't have to do a lot of the leaf. Let's do this one right here. Let's break out from the center of the leaf. And work our way up. Same with this side. This one's gonna be overlapping a bunch. There we go. Let's put that away. We don't need that color anymore. All right, we do need the brown because we did miss a spot right here. All right. Let's do this side right here. Nice. All right. We only have two more leaves to go, so it goes from here to down there and we can kind of go out like this and then do the other side like I said it is gonna look confusing at first but once you back away from your picture uh, it'll start to make a lot more sense so this was a hard assignment I'm almost done if I wanted to add more leaves I could but I don't think I'm going to so I'm kind of liking how many I did. I'm liking the look of it already, and I feel like if I add more, it might ruin it. I don't know. Anyways, that's my project for this uh, vein line project, I guess you can call it. But anyways, uh, that's it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.